Hey y'all, I just saw Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Wait, no, I didn't see Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. You saw Skull. Dial I, of Destiny. I saw Dial of Destiny, Indiana Jones. Now that's supposed to be coming out tomorrow. I saw it today though. Apparently our theater got, a, got an early copy. Yeah. Woof woof. So yeah, if you don't want spoiled, uh, you're gonna get spoiled if you watch this video because it's really good because time travel, time travel is one of my favorite things in movies. Like I can, I love time travel and uh, I love the, like the adventure and the third act is really well done. I love all the action. I love the Wilhelm scream at the very top of the movie. Um, first time Indiana Jones is, uh, introduced in that flashback his theme plays and i like that um i liked almost everything about this movie i just i just think it was overdone just like a little bit with the action i know it's supposed to be an action movie but like there is a lot of action like way too many people getting shot like yeah people getting shot left and right yeah there was like no calm down periods between action only scenes. Only one whip crack in the whole movie. Yeah, there was only one one type one whip crack, which is not supposed to happen. There's only one scene with that. And it's in like a building. Yeah, it's, it doesn't get to you don't get to see its full potential. Uh, but I liked it. It's, and it, this is like the only Indiana Jones movie where we don't get to see him use the bullwhip to disarm an enemy by literally wrapping the end of the whip around a gun and then yanking it back. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> That's what made Indiana Jones cool, him taking that bullwhip, whipping it at a gun and it wraps around the gun, he pulls it back, takes the gun, bang, bang. Yeah, uh, but overall, I, I was going to say 7, but it is now an 8 out of 10 for me. Uh, um, yeah. Dial, Indiana Jones, Dial of Destiny, 8 out of 10.